Hello and welcome to Calgary's Business. I'm your host Mario Taniguzzi and joining me today is Michael Kehoe who is a retail real estate specialist with Fairfield Commercial Real Estate and also lead ambassador for Canada with the International Council of Shopping Centers. Thanks for joining us today Michael. Thanks for inviting me Mario. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, restaurant industry in Calgary these days. What's it like? Well, Calgary has a vibrant restaurant scene uh, with a true international flavor. Um, we have a very impressive food service community here in Calgary with a lot of young talent. And um, uh, it's an exciting time uh, to, uh, to see the industry evolving. However, we are in a tough economy in Calgary, as everyone knows, uh, consumer confidence is low. Um, sales have been impacted by the soft economy. Um, costs are high, rents are still on the high side, property taxes are high, um, utilities, minimum wage, um, these have all had uh, a negative, um, a negative uh, impact on the restaurant food service industry of the Calgary market. Okay, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the, 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 I guess the key challenges uh, that a, a restaurateur uh, would face right now. One of the key challenges is, is staying relevant. Um, we've seen a lot of longtime restaurant brands close in the Calgary market. I mean, Fiori, Chianti, Le Chaumiere, Belvedere, Catch. I mean, it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. um, we've been impacted by changing tastes, soft economy, of course, um, high costs, um, you know, property taxes, Cost of utilities, um, cost of labor, these all impact the restaurant business directly. And um, you know, it's a vulnerable industry, uh, but it is very resilient. Okay, so uh, we do see, as you said, a lot of restaurants closing, but same token, we see restaurants opening up. Like, uh, are they crazy? <laughs> Spaces are recycled almost immediately. Um, so you know, restaurant industry is uh, it's a very entrepreneurial sector. Um, there's a lot of young entrepreneurial talent in Calgary. It seems to be able to raise capital uh, with, with fresh business plans, new ideas, and uh, that keeps the industry vibrant. It's great for the consumer because they have new restaurants to check out. And um, I see it as a, it's a, Darwin, a Darwinian struggle survival of the fittest. Mm. So as we look forward uh, into the near future, let's say, uh, what are the key things that a, a restaurant, if I'm an aspiring restaurant owner, what are the key things I have to have in place to ensure uh, or try to ensure that I'm going to be successful and live on past my first year? I think they have to have a clear, crisp, a uh, well-defined business plan that sets out um, their goals, um, that to control their food costs and other costs. Um, we're seeing many, many um, uh, restaurants become a part of collaborations or, um, or groups where the restaurants, uh, entrepreneurs cluster together. Uh, so they have economy of scale with marketing, uh, food costs, real estate, various other aspects. So I think mm -hmm. that's, that's a trend that we're seeing uh, quite a bit right now. And you know, you have to have a strong social media presence. Um, you have to build a community in mm -hmm. order to survive. Yeah. So not about getting that first time visit, check out the new restaurant, and then the people go away. We need the repeat business. It's coming back every week or on a regular basis. And, um, it's a changing industry, uh, the city's changing, and um, it's an exciting time and exciting place to be right now. Okay, um, you know, you, you did make reference to this earlier, and I'm gonna ask you, is the city and city council wrecking small business owners in the city these days with its skyrocketing property taxes? Well, it just seems like certain parts of the city have been targeted. Um, with the increases in uh, in property taxes, 
you know, it's a whole other, other story uh, with respect to carries the tax burden and, and the math behind that. It's very political. Mm -hmm. you know, the inner city has been, been targeted. Uh, certainly 17th Avenue Southwest, Kensington, um, you know, Bridgeland, these are the inner city areas um, that have been targeted. And, you know, it's been uh, nasty. Uh, but we've seen some, some high costs passed on to the restaurants and the retailers. Uh, through their building owners, who have the right to appeal, but often don't. But, you know, it is a it is a serious situation. We've seen many businesses close, uh, including a number of restaurants. Um, mm -hmm. It's impacting uh, entrepreneurs. It's impacting families. Um, we've seen a loss of life. It's very sad. Um, however, you know, life goes on. It's a very resilient business, and uh, we always see new restaurants opening, with fresh new concepts. Okay, super. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Michael. Thank you, Mario. That was Calgary's Business. I'm your host, Mario Taniguzzi. Thanks for joining us today.